Craig. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm 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 so excited to talk to you and uh, talk to you about this uh, the brand new movie, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. I uh, I was a big fan of the uh, uh, of the documentary a couple of years ago uh, on Mr. Rogers, but wow, Tom Hanks really pulled it off, didn't he? I totally believe he pulled it off. I mean, the minute the you know to me the minute he starts talking as Fred, he's Fred. It was amazing to see him. I mean, from day one when they did the first studio shot, uh, it was it was eerie. It was like seeing Fred. Uh, now, now the movie is pretty much inspired by your uh, profile you did right. uh, on on Mr. Rogers. Uh, let me just ask you this. I mean, how does that feel to take something that you've written and 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 bring it to the to the movies, bring it to the big screen. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it, it's hard to describe because that you know, at, at once it's at once it's very personal, um, but at the same time, it's it's you know, I mean, you're something that you wrote becomes part of this twenty year later contemporary message that that seems sort of you know right for this moment and and our time. So it's 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 hard to it's hard to describe, but I mean, I'm I'm really proud of it. I, I think it's important. I think it's important to note that, that Tom and Fred maintained a relationship over that 21-year period. I mean, they, they corresponded with each other. They talked with each other. Uh, Fred loved the article, and he loved Tom Janot. And I think, I think that's very important about how Tom and, uh, you know, portrays Mr. Rogers, you know, as a person that really is interested in people. He, yeah. he, he gave us that kind of uh, insight into Fred. Yeah, that was the that was the most amazing thing about about Fred. I I think is that his ability to talk to people, one on one, whether he that was a it was a person he you know had started to know like me, a stranger in the street, a child who approached him, or or the the children who sat you know in his audience of millions. He was still able to talk to every single person on this one-on-one -on -one basis that sort of you know was built on his insight into what that person needed and wanted from him it was this amazing talent bill you got the privilege and 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 the opportunity to work with with mr rogers almost every day you were uh the ceo and president right. of the fred rogers company uh you you were probably very close to his family as well i mean what was fred rogers like when the cameras turned off. No different. He was, you know, Fred used to always say, what you see is what you get. Fred was that way consistently. Uh, obviously, um, I, I, I'm not in the Fred Rogers mold. I, uh, I, I'm not as patient as he, as he was. Uh, you know, he, <laughs> he really, as Tom pointed out, he took time for everyone. When he was talking to a person, he was talking with a person. He was not looking around. He was not trying to see what was going on. He was focusing on the individual at the time. So there was no difference between Mr. Rogers and Fred Rogers. Same. Every single day, every single minute. You know, there is something so iconic and, as you said, contemporary about going back and looking at Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Uh, the, the idea of kindness and gratitude is so prevalent and needed today. Um, you know, I just think th this particular show goes on and on and on and, and you've got generation after generation that have grown up with this and and I think we need to put it into practical use every day. Well, you, you hit upon a word that was a, a very very special word of Fer, the Fred and that was gratitude and he used to talk about the attitude of gratitude and he used to talk about being gracious and I do think that they there are there are things that Fred talked about every single program that he did for children that apply to every single adult too. I, it was not a children's program. I think it's a, a program for all ages. Uh, I, and again, thinking about the child uh, in each of us, uh, hopefully it's still there, the sense of wonder, imagination, creativity. Fred was brilliant at that and that's what he worked at. It was his craft. As Tom is a phenomenal journalist, Fred was a great writer of children's programming. Yeah, finding the finding the child in in each person was definitely uh, was definitely Fred's superpower. Yeah, he did yeah. right, gentlemen. Our time is so short. I could talk to you for an hour. We could talk with you uh, too. And I'm, <laughs> <laughs> but again, uh, Tom, congratulations on 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 the inspiration for this movie. Uh, it is a breathtakingly lovely film, 
and uh, it's a pleasure to talk to both of you gentlemen. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Great to talk with you.